It is Monday, January 21st, and it's been kind of a hard day. It's been a hard several days. In a lot of ways, it's been a hard several months. Uh, we laid my father-in-law to rest this morning on the farm right next to his wife. And um, these things are never easy. No matter how long we have people in our life, it's never long enough. And Papa's, he was referred to by our children and his grandchildren and me. His daughter-in-law um, was 92, so we lived a good long life. But still wasn't ready to say goodbye. He was a World War II vet. He was proud of his service. He had a million stories about that and many other things. He was a mechanic by trade, one of the best, one of the best around. He was a farmer. He started this farm and he added on to it. And I'm proud to be able to continue to work this land with my husband and hopefully our kids one day. He, he was just really special. He was special to me. He was my cornbread eating buddy. He liked my cornbread and I was always happy to make it for him. What'd you just say? I said, it's a miracle somebody can cook corn bread and make it taste like that. <laughs> I love you for a million years yeah. for saying that, Papa. Yeah. You know how much that just made my day? Yeah. Yeah, it did. Really he also liked to try to make it himself, and he used to do a great job. Got a little harder for him the older, the older he got. <laughs> but he would try anyway, because he didn't have any quit in him. And that's one thing that I'll remember and be encouraged by. To watch, uh, when he was in his late 80s, he wanted to ride a bike again. He had terrible knees. He needed knee replacements, but he never got them. And he had a really hard time getting around, but he wanted to ride a bike because he said his, it had helped him. So we got him this big three-wheel bike, and he rode it up and down right here where I'm sitting right now. He rode it up and down this dirt road and up and down the hard road, even though we didn't like for him to do that. He was a very determined man. <laughs> and he was doing what he wanted and what made him happy. He spent his Saturday and Sundays most of the time up at the local flea market selling produce and honey and molasses and turnip greens. He had a big turnip patch that he would grow and cut and then he'd wash them and take them up there and people would come from all around to buy stuff from him. It was a great place for him to visit and, you know, just talk with people. So, that was Papa. He's gone. But he's not forgotten. He's part of that greatest generation. They really are the greatest generation. They're not making any more like them. And they're going too fast. I wish I had recorded more of his stories. And I'll regret that. I'll regret that forever. I've got some. I got, I got, we, we've all got them up in our heads from where he told them over and over. And like my pastor said today, during the graveside, one of the greatest gifts God's given any of us is our memory. And um, as long as we have our memory, then we have memories. And what a gift that is to be able to keep people alive even after they're gone. 
So that's that's what's going on here. I'm gonna find a new normal, whatever normal is. And keep plugging and try to keep his memory and his spirit alive here on this farm that he worked so hard to get going. May he rest in peace.